Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out. Um, we have so many upgrades and downloads and shifts that we are currently going through. Um, allow the healing process to go ahead and take place and don't fight the signs that are coming towards you even if they don't make sense sometimes usually it doesn't make sense until you have to go through a series of situations to truly understand subliminal messages in between the signs so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you are uh, comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just uh, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is very informative to you or it just gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even, uh, you know, a fellow empath or going through trying times or just need spiritual guidance towards their life path or even soul purpose, go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated and I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my um, background meditation music that I'm using is called 528 Hertz. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Manifesting Miracles Attraction 432 Hertz Elevate Your Vibration. And I will post that link in the description box below. Um, you know, it was like the other one was highlighted and it was the one I just used on my last video. Um, and my video today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, it's the mistakes, the setbacks from from the past will be your breakthrough for your future it is it's just like all the things we are currently going through you know um universe uh wants us to be able to shed light on the lessons and you know what have we learned from the certain situations they want us to be open to be able to receive all the messages that are coming towards our way you know sometimes we don't like what you know universe is sending us because we feel like we're doing something and it's like there's times that you know i'll be looking at numbers and see you know what that meant you know just to see what the angels universe you know masses is trying to teach me and I'm like, yeah i'm not doing enough or you gotta let go step out your comfort zone you know see things are not being said or be able to let go with love you know you have things coming into your life but you have to be able to let go of this so you can be able to pick this up and there's just so many different things you have to learn through hardship you have to learn through the mistakes uh learn through you know the setbacks you know there's nobody that is you know that has been successful successful that has not had a minor setback uh i mean not my minor or major you know they that's how we learn that's this is how we get to know things these are the lessons from the situations that we go through that can really make a big impact on your life you know you have to be able to see it from all different levels when we put you know try to seek understanding through emotional you know circumstances you, it's, sometimes it's hard for you to be able to know what is truly being said to you a lot of times we have to take a chill point being able to you know maintain our you know our emotions and at, at times when we're in you know we're in our feelings as being um human you know that's 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 a given we get into our feelings we get upset we get mad we we're confused it just all depends on how we tend to look at things how how are we perceiving them when they're coming towards us a lot of times we feel like the things we deeply want in life you know was for us but you know the universe is trying to do everything in their in your path to be able to tear you away from it because they see where it's going to take you and it might not take you to where they want you to go you know there could be you know there was times i prayed on relationships um that i really wanted to work out in my favor and you know it was just something that i there was things in the forefront that was not yet clear to me yet and i kept on hearing you know there's more things that are come towards your way you just have to be able to you know be able to see them from that angle and it's just like you know, times we can get, we can get upset because there are certain people that came into our lives to use us, abuse us, you know, give us on that setback, uh, blocked us from things that we truly need 
needed or wanted in our lives. But all those different things has taught us one way or another. You know, you have, sometimes you can't be so open with information that are coming towards you, not just for the fact as somebody might block it, but it's just their energy. You know, if they're working on something that seems like you're, you're picking up more than what they are able to pick up. Some people that can mess up the energy that you have coming towards you, they might block you off of the things that are coming on in your life or you know a lot of people might feel like they don't have what it takes to get to where you're trying to go but a lot of us have to understand everybody has their own separate journey um your journey is your journey not everybody's going to understand your journey as long as you know what it's supposed to do for you what it, you as long as you know where it's supposed to take you um that's what's important you know it's just a long time you if we have certain things that are in our lives that, you know, we need to heal from, we might not have self-love. We might not have that, that confidence within ourselves. We might not have patience or faith. So universe is allowing us to go through certain things where, you know, you're ready to go. There are certain situations I've been placed in It's five by five. When I said that, um, been placed in that I was in a hurry to get out of, but you know, I had to keep going through a karmic cycle that, um, has taught me a lot of growth, you know, um, being able to see the unseen, the things were not spoken to me, you know, you have to be able to, you know, a lot of people might say they're there for you, but you have to pay attention to the actions on what they're doing to put in your life. You know, there's a lot of people that will occur back into your life just to be having that benefit of you. You know, there's times I've had people, you know, stop by in my life and they really weren't having good intentions for me, but there'd be people, for example, you know, they'll leave you, oh, just, you know, do you need to talk about anything or, you know, what's going on with you, you know, for that fact of needing you. So they try to keep that door open. So when things occur in your life, you know, they want to be able to say, oh, I was there, but you have to look at the meaning behind that, you know, when it comes to you connecting with other people, you know, what is this situation supposed to teach you? A lot of times it's not going to be a pretty situation, but there's always people, you know, you learning from, you know, I, everybody who's come in my life that, you know, you, they're still in my life. I'm grateful for even the ones that I've separated from. I'm grateful because all these situations has taught me one thing or another that I had to be able to not be so forthcoming, you know, still have a true character and love and light, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, there's a lot of times you have to keep your eyes open on what, what is going on around you. Stop child. Um, so going through all these different things, you know, everything that you're currently going through, even in the past, is like teaching you things left and right that you need to be able to instill into yourself. You know, going through my situations, I didn't have love for myself growing up because I didn't really feel it as much. You know, I did when I was younger, but it was always short lived. So it's like there was predicaments I put myself in, you know, very dangerous situations where I just didn't care you know, um, trying to look for love in all the wrong places. You know, I started off really early in life doing things I shouldn't have been doing. But, you know, it, it was just like I didn't have that father figure in my life to be able to tell me how things were supposed to go. You know, my mom had to be my mother and father for that situation. And, you know, I'm very grateful for my mom. You know, my mom's no longer here. Um, but she has made a big impact on my life. You know, we didn't really have a good relationship. And, um, it was like towards the end before she had passed, everything was like really great. And it was at that point where, um, you know, I was angry with God, you know, because if finally I got my mom where I wanted her to be, where we had a good relationship, but I got angry because towards the end, I didn't know my mom was dying. I was just like, God, how do you do this to me? Why would you allow my mom to be the mom that I always needed? You know, and it took her to have to die to do that. And it was just like, I wasn't looking at that situation for what it was. God was allowing me to say, you know what? These are the last few months that you're going to have with her. So you have to enjoy every second of the moment of that that matters to you. Make those minutes count. You know, she didn't want to spend her last day. She knew she was dying at any time. But um, being a blessing and being able to be there for my mom, like my mom was trying to be there for me, you know, um, she was in a very toxic relationship herself. And it was like they got a divorce because, you know, my, my biological father was trying to be in my life and he wanted, she wanted him to go ahead and be there. Um, but her husband didn't. So it really took her down, you know, a dark path where it was like verbally, physically and mentally abusive with communication between both of us. 
So it was just a lot of things we had to, you know, I had to go through. And it was just like, you know, being able to look at it for what it was, you know, my mom, after she passed, she knew I was gifted. So it was like, I was still able to see her even after she passed for like three or four months, you know, she wanted to make sure I was okay because she knew I took it really hard. You know, being there for my mom was like a blessing for me to be able to take care of her because, you know, she took care of me for so many years now. It's just like when she needed that, I was there to be able to do it. So it's just a lot of times we have to go through things and, you know, after it's all said and done, really see what blessing they were trying to send you out of a tragic situation. Um, it, it was just like so many things I've endured in life and, you know, I'm blessed beyond measures with every single situation I've been in. You know, it might hurt. It might, you know, I might not have all the answers to it, but I can, I can at least say from the tragic situations I've been through has really made me stronger that I ever thought I would. I didn't ever think um, I would be able to heal myself in ways, especially without any closure. You know, I had no choice but to do it. You know, there are sometimes we have to be able to heal without getting that sorry or not actually having all the answers. Um, you have to be able to make peace with yourself, um, not because it's like you don't care, but it's just a lot of times we will drive ourselves crazy because we don't have the answers to all the things that has occurred into our life and we really desperately want that. But sometimes you have to go through a series of events for you to be able to make sense of the reason why you had to go through that. Sometimes there's things going on behind the scenes that is not ready to be presented to you yet. You have to go through a certain amount of things to be able to know okay, you're going to be okay, but I need you to be able to heal from this certain situation first before we allow something else to open to you. So, it, I mean, when it's just like seeing the things that I've really went through, I never, okay, let me stop. So, um, being able to do that has really humbled me. Being able to see the things that I needed to see, you know, really has blessed me beyond all measures. So, you know, knowing any kind of mistake setback, or failures you go through know that it's going to be able to benefit you down the long run you have to just be able to see it in a positive frame of mind so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video uh, much love to gabriel lost puppy as always uh, much love to you and i will see you all in my next video like and subscribe hit that notification bell share let me know if you resonate and sh you know hit that subscribe button and i will see you on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there better days and you know give out as much love and light and positivity as you can um you know there's always somebody out there that needs that and you know never know how far i'll take them so i'll see you on my next video much love peace